What is going on, wrestling fans? Welcome to another special edition of the one, the only famous team, WWE 2001. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to the show, as always. You know what? Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me your thoughts on how you feel about Monday Night Raw last night. Now, Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw was good last night. It was very good, but, you know, there's some things about Raw sometimes that ain't gonna be good. There's gonna be some stuff that I'm not gonna like. But this Raw, I say it was very good. Last week was better though. So we had CM Punk. Now usually I'm at Raw, someone usually starts the show, right? Like Triple H, John Cena. But it didn't happen like that. So what happened was CM Punk, it was a match. It was CM Punk would take on the Wyatt family. Now, I see the Wyatt family having a new feud now with CM Punk and Daniel Bryan now. Because we all know what happened with Daniel Bryan. He got thrown to the cage and got hurt. So it seems like they're feuding with um, with CM Punk and Br Br Daniel Bryan. I think that's awesome. I think that's a great feud for the Wyatt family. That's good. You know, they gotta have they are gonna have a good one. So I don't see Kane getting back in the picture no more. I don't think so. So anyways, Punk did good. He came out for the win. Punk's like backstage like he's gonna get revenge on what you know they did to him and he's not afraid he's not gonna back down from the Wyatt family which he's not because you know look what CM Punk has done CM Punk doesn't back down for nobody and he's gonna get revenge on the Wyatt family so I see a match between you know Daniel Bryan and CM Punk taking on the Wyatt family at Survivor Series that'd be a good match to see and then we had a match. It was Ryback taking on the great Kali. Now, what was happening? He was backstage. And he, he was a little talk and stuff. And Kali, he's like, well, why don't you pick on your side? Because he was picking on Hornswoggle. Ryback was. And he says, you know, says, why don't you just pick on someone on your side? So he turns around and he has a match against great Kali. Now, we all know great Kali is not, I don't, Kali's not a very good wrestler, but he did a very, he did a very good job, I guess. Right back would come out for the win and beat the great Kali. Then we had Kofi Kingston versus Alberto Del Rio. Now, like I said, I like this. I love Kofi. Kofi and is awesome, but I really hate when right when Alberto Del Rio has to win every single time. I mean, why is that gonna happen? Why do we gotta see Alberto Del Rio win every single time? You know, is I mean, why not get Kofi a chance? I love Kofi, but. Kofi did a very, very good job last night. I'm not going to lie, Kofi's a good wrestler. He do, he does good when he faces that bird, though. He just doesn't win, though. That's the thing. Um, then we had Randy Orton versus Big E Langston. This was cool. This Now, I thought it was for the very first time. They had a poll on who who did you want to, who did you want Randy Orton to verse. Was it Dolph Ziggler, Big E Langston, or The Miz? Now, I don't want to see The Miz versus him. Hell no. I I was gonna I picked Dolph Ziggler. I wanted Dolph Ziggler to um you know verse Randy Orton because that'd be awesome. But everybody wanted Biggie Langston to verse Randy Orton. And what it was one hell of a match, ladies and gentlemen. This was a very good match between these two. Biggie Langston lost the match, but he did a very good job. Randy Orton came out for the win. One, two, three. Biggie Langston, man, is gonna become something, I'm telling you. Then we have Tyson Kidd. And Natalia versus Fandango and Summer Rae. This was an okay match. It was good. Nothing nothing awesome, you know. But Tyson Kidd is back. That's awesome. The return of Tyson Kidd. So let's see what's what they're going to do for him now since he's back in the WWE. Let's see if he gets title runs. Let's see if they do something for him. Because you know what? Tyson Kidd has potential and skills. And, you know, they got to do something for him. So I'm happy he's, I'm happy he's back. Tyson Kidd and T Natalia will come out for the win. I see Summer Rae starting to become a wrestler now. I don't know why. I mean, I don't think she's gonna be any be any, any anything good. Um, then we have Damian San. Damian San. I was backstage. Says he saw he saw a man not give up swag. And then yeah, he's talking about the whole thing with John Cena when he won the title and stuff. And then Swagger and you know the whole not the um, Zeb culture and Swagger Cesaro all that interrupt Damian Sandow and said they're gonna beat the they're gonna beat the, the um the, during the six man tag match thing and they say they're gonna win the match they're gonna beat these wrestlers you know and I was like I was in my head though there, there's no way you're gonna beat Goldust John Cena and Cody Rhodes it, it's not gonna happen right. 
Now, Cena comes out and says this little thing about octavo breast cancer and stuff. And, you know, that's what I love about John Cena. I love when he does that. And then we had the match, Gold Us, Cena, and Cody Rhodes versus Swagger, Antonio Cesaro, and Damian Sandow. This was a good match. Very good. They did some stuff that was really cool. You know, I, I like I said, I love when, when Swagger and Tony Cesaro ho um, hook up as a team because they're good tag teams. You know, I like them. I love them. I love what they do. You know, I just don't like to do the little thing, you know. But they wrestle good together. I think they should, you know, in the future, get a tag team title shot. Then we have Agent Stephanie are backstage. Now, the board of directors are out. And they say the boarders are demanding the, for those for Triple H and Stephanie to settle what was going on between them and the big show. Then we have Curtis Axel versus Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler come out for the win. It was a very good match. I love Dolph Ziggler. I'm happy he beat Curtis Axel. You know, I'm happy. It seems like they're gonna do a little um it seems like, you know, they're gonna do a little bit better now for Dolph Ziggler, which they should. You know, they gotta do that, you know. Brian's back then we have Brian backstage. Brian saw an opportunity, took it. I don't know what he did, you know, he took it, so he's gonna get revenge on the Wyatt family also. Usos versus 3MB. We all know who won that. Usos. 3MB sucks. I don't know why the hell they're even doing this against Usos because we know that Usos can beat them anyways. So it's like it's an easy match for Usos. It was like a four minute match. Wow. A four minute match. Damn. Then we have the Bellas and Eva Marie. The Bellas ver and Eva Marie versus and Exana and Tama and AJ. This was a very good match, ladies and gentlemen. I really want to see what's going on with Eva Marie. I want to see, you know, what her future is going to be like in this company, you know. Because, you know what, I support her right now. I feel like she has potential, but she just has to get better. She has to, you know, get training more. And, you know, I feel like she'll become something. You know, she's a good diva already. I mean, I saw the divas thing when she was doing her little photo shoot. She's good, you know. I just want to see her wrestle more. I want to see her be, you know, I want to see what her future is going to be like in the business. You know, then we have H. Stephanie come out and says they, they want to get it over with. They, they call Big Show. Like, let's get this over with, Big Show. Now, Big Show tells Hunter, it ain't about the money. It's about wrestling. It's about what I love to do. He's like, it's, I just want my job back. That's all he wants. Big Show just wants his job back, you know. And then he's like, you know, there's something I want. Now he wants to be in the WWE main event. As Survivor Series, you know, because it's been a while since he had a long, long, long title run in the WWE, ladies and gentlemen. So, he got his shot. So, now we know Randy Orton, as Survivor Series, as Survivor Series, will be taking on Big Show for the for the WWE title, man. So, you're going to see a video about that in the, in the coming days, about Randy Orton versus Big Show Survivor Series. You're going to see a gameplay of that. So, check that out. Um... Then the shield would come out. And he's like, oh, it's going to go down like this again? Really? He's like so mad. Um, then we have Big Show versus Shield and Randy Orton. A four-on-one match. And I'm, I'm pretty, I forgot. I think, I don't know who won this. I think Big Show, well, no. I don't think Big Show did win it. No, he didn't. I don't think he won it. But he got Sam through a table again. He got Chip and Bomb through a table. It's like, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with the Shield, you know, but I love the Shield. They're awesome. But it was a very good Raw, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie. Raw was good. You know, I'd give it, i say, 7 out of 10 stars. You know, could have been better. Last week was even better than what it was this week. So, I don't know, man. So, subscribers, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Spread this word like wildfire. And yeah, let's get ready for WWE 2K14 today. And I may have a special video coming you never know there may be a special video coming today so look out for that all right subscribe and i'll see you later and enjoy your day